I also want to tell you a story that I heard when I was a little bit younger. It was kind of like a joke, but it's not in between a joke or a story. So I'm going to tell you this may be a joke. I heard a joke about a man who found himself in a major thunderstorm as water rose and flooded the streets. He yelled for help. He said, help, help, help. As water rolled, a piece of the plywood flow past him. He thought, I know God will take care of me. He's going to help me. I don't need this piece of plywood. The water continued to raise. And now, up to his nose. And he sought for help again. He climbed to the roof. And a man in a boat came by and offered to save him. And he declined. He said, I know God will help me. So please don't worry. Move on, he said. Then water continued, rose up to his eyes and almost drowning him and put him under the water. So he climbed to a tree and a helicopter noticed him. So the helicopter hovered over his head so that he could climb up to be safe and aboard. And he again declined. Well, the water never stopped. So he drowned. In heaven, he met God and asked, Lord, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you save me? The God replied. He said, I send you the plywood, the boat, and the helicopter. And you told me that I didn't help you? You didn't tell me that you didn't receive any help? Now, if you have the snoring problems, if you know that your family or friends have the snoring problems, sleep nightmare, okay? Think about this story. There's always help around us. All we need to do is just look around. Sometimes they're simple than you think. Sometimes all you need to just raise your finger. And sometimes you need to raise your voice. But this time, you need to rotate your neck. But they're all simple. Simplexity can be the most powerful tools in life. Please remember that. And don't take these lessons lightly. Because it helped me, it helped many of my family and many of my friends. I hope that you can benefit all from this very simple exercise. Because you are going to be another chin without worry about short neck. Okay, because you can share that information with all your family and friends. You own this knowledge now. And you can be generous with that. You can tell other people. You don't need to mention about my name or where you learned that from. Because it's becoming your knowledge. All you need to do is just exercise, get rid of your problem, help your family and friends, and tell them how they can other people. And we all can help others. And that is a string of generosity. And that is the power to sharing information, sharing our knowledge, to help our next many generations to come. And in order for us to live a happy life, we need to be unselfish. We need to be helping ourselves by helping others. Now, let me go back and read what I wrote as my acronyms for happy life. And I hope that you enjoy listen to this. H is representing helping. Helping ourselves by helping others is the key to a happy life. And we talk about that already, right? The second one is attitude. A positive attitude equals opportunity. It will foster positive energy around you, which will lead to success and happiness. The next letter is patience. Patience is your strongest inner power. It's your best tool 
to conquer fear, your obstacles and challenges. Control when and how to act in order to capture new opportunities with patience. The next letter is another P for passion. If you chose a career that you are passionate about, you will never work a single day in life. Find your passion and live your life in paradise. If you enjoy talking to people, just calm and talk, you find a lot of happiness. If you like to have sun bath, that's your passion, so be it. You find a lot of happiness. You find a lot of peace by doing the thing that you like to do. The next letter is about yes, yes we can. A dream and a plan, anything is possible. Yes, we can. So our president, Mr. Obama, said to us many, many times, yes, we can. Well, have a little plan, big plan, small plan, or whatever, achievable plans. You find a lot of happiness when you have a plan. The next letter is L for love. Love and sharing unconditionally. That's true love. So, you can love openly without boundaries. A lot of people misunderstood about why I said without boundaries. Boundary means that you don't necessarily looking for anything to return back to you. So that's why you share your love unconditionally, openly, without boundaries. Unconditionally, openly, without boundaries. Think about this. When you love your children when they are baby, you never expect them to pay you back anything, do you? And those are the kind of love that we need to continue when they grow up. Not because they're changing to become an adult that we want them to pay me back or pay us back for the thing that we did for them in the past. Share the love unconditionally. you find a lot of happiness. And improvement. We all can improve one step each time and one percent each day to find a lot of happiness with the eye. Okay? And fairness. I know many people, especially in the last, we always asked, oh, why me? You know, life is unfair. But we all understand that. You know, tragedy happened to us randomly. Sometimes we have to understand even though we're facing obstacles, life may not be fair to us. We must be fair in life. That's the F. We must be fair in life. Why? Because when we are not fair in life, we, because when we are not fair in life, we continue to feel sad or bad over our obstacles, tragedies. We brought the people around us down to our level. When we are not happy, they are not happy. When we are sad, they are also sad. So we have to find a reason to build our strength. Yes, we have feelings. Yes, we have sadnesses. Yes, we have things that we can overcome. But try to be positive. Try to understand life better. Understand fairness. When you understand fairness, you will find a lot of happiness. Life may not be fair to you, but you must be fair in life. The next ladder is the most important ladder. is education, the E. What I learned from you, what I learned from our ancestors, what you learned from me, what you learned from our teachers. Education is all about learning and teaching. It also propels us to the next level. The things that we learn through all these years, through history, teachings from our ancestors, teachers, parents, grandma, neighbors, we all learning. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining our show tonight. I wish you all have a very happy life. And I hope that if you do have the sleep problems, take care of it and be well. And comment, take care of it and be well. And comment about your progress. And if you enjoy reading the book of Happy Life, go to t.s.chin at yahoo.com or Google.com, you can find my name and comment it on the Amazon bookseller. Happy Life Book. Thank you so much. See you next week.